Welcome everyone. Today we are going to compare three devices. The new uh, Vision Pro, which is has been a very popular device. The Meta Quest 3 and the HoloLens 2. So let's begin with resolution. Uh, the HoloLens 2, which is the older device, um, it has 2K uh, resolution. The Quest 3, which is also a mixed reality device, is 4K. And the new uh, Vision Pro from Apple is 4K as well. Now, I, as, as you will see, I use glasses. So with HoloLens, I pretty much can use my glasses without any issues. With Quest, uh, they have an adapter. However, I have been using my glasses and it's kind of okay. However, on Vish with Vision Pro, I'm not able to use my glasses. There is an adapter here. Um, I just need to remove this part and put an adapter right here. Uh, so that's an inconvenience. You need to define your prescription and they will send you special glasses. Price, um, HoloLens is in the neighborhood of $3,500. Vision Pro, uh, depending on your model, but also $3,500. And Meta Quest 3 is in the neighborhood of $500. Now, Regarding how you work with this device, we use something called gestures. And gestures essentially, instead of controllers, you use your hands uh, and you do this for clicks. Uh, the three devices support gestures, which is pretty cool. That the device that I like the most uh, so far is the Vision Pro. It's pretty intuitive because it has gestures. And also, I don't need to exaggerate the gestures in front of the camera like I do with the HoloLens or the Quest. I can just have uh, my hand um, anywhere and it will recognize it. So that's pretty cool. Um, now, regarding the weight, because we will be using this for a while, uh, HoloLens is about 600 grams or 22 ounces. Uh, the as you notice, here is a battery as well. So uh, I, I have all the device here. Either I have this strap, after a while by experience, there's some weight here on the nose. And after you are wearing this like for two hours, it's, it's kind of painful. Um, all the devices uh, are about 600 grams. So same with this one, with the Quest 3, uh, it has a strap, however, you will feel it in your nose after a while. Uh, the Vision Pro, same way, but for some reason, this is pretty ergonomic. It's pretty, pretty nice. So I didn't have that issue with my nose after using this for a couple of hours. Now, uh, I call this freedom. HoloLens, I'm not tethered to anything. Uh, all the computer right here, so I don't need to strap it anywhere. Quest, same. Uh, all the computers here, I don't need to connect it. Vision Pro, it has a cable, as you notice, which is uh, connected here. It's a battery pack, which is pretty uh, heavy, maybe. Uh, on the bright side, I can just exchange it. I can just trade it and use a new one. Uh, but you are better, and that reminds me a lot to magic leap. If you don't remember the magic leap device, but this was the magic leap device, which is another mixed reality computer. Um, it was cool. It was, uh, I believe I looked like a minion when wearing this. Um, uh, what, what I didn't like is like, I'm tethered also, uh, with this kind of this plan. Um, uh, and you cannot exchange it. It's like a fixed device. Um, Vision Pro. Yes, you can, you can change the battery. Now, uh, 
next point is factory uh, the three devices the battery lasts about two hours the only difference is with vision pro if the battery is out i just need to change it for a fresh battery and i can have another one and another one as many times as i want uh with these two guys uh there is a usb c port here and there's another one here on quest so i can have a battery pack i did that in the past it worked but it's kind of uh, painful now eye tracking that's a pretty pretty cool one um hololens uh vision pro they can track your eyes quest this one doesn't track your eyes but what is different from vision pro is instead of me typing in the air it tracked my eyes so if i'm trying to select an icon or if i'm typing self-typing can just need to look at the letters or the icon and it's like a cursor so i'm moving the cursor with my eyes and then i just need to tap so that's a good win that's a very big win for vision pro um voice recognition the three devices has voice recognition which is pretty pretty cool um spatial spatial mapping the three devices are win win they can map my environment they can recognize my surroundings which is pretty cool the three devices are mixed reality i can interact with my environment and and enjoy it the only difference is color lens i really can see through the lens vision pro and quest uh, three you cannot see what's happening it has a bunch of cameras and these cameras uh project to my eyes uh my environment but that's that's a pretty pretty cool uh feature and then capacity uh well vision pro comes with 512 gigs to one terabyte version uh hololens which is a two is a little older is 64 gigabytes uh quest 3 they have a 128 gigs uh version and a 515 gigabytes version which is very cool uh, the, there is something also different uh, with Vision Pro. They have something called Persona. And Persona essentially creates an avatar. And I just need to set up the device, have it in front of me like this. And then what is interesting, I need to spend a couple of minutes sliding, talking, moving my mouth, look up, look down, look click, look right. And after that, that capture kind of... Um, um, an avatar, a three-dimensional avatar of myself. So if I'm having a conversation with anyone, my avatar will mimic like my uh, mouth is moving and I'm having some gestures. However, um, as you know, that the Holo Connect app, the holographic teleportation app is there. You just can download it with either the HoloLens or the Quest 3 uh, or almost uh, or also with Vision Pro and you can have a real-time three-dimensional representation of anyone. So that's a good feature, but I would rather the holographic uh, teleportation. Now, as a verdict, it depends on uh, what you want to use. I believe right now um, the big winner is Vision Pro because it's pretty ergonomic. It's a new device. It has, it, it has all the lessons learned from the Magic Leap, the HoloLens, and I believe also from the Quest 3. Now, it's pretty expensive. It's not something that you want to use every day. If you are a family of four, it's like uh, you will be spending like $12,000 just to have each of you one device. Uh, for price, I will go more like with the Quest 3, which is uh, pretty similar. But um, pretty much, I believe the three devices are similar. Higher resolution on Vision Pro, uh, of course, because it's a newer, a newer device. Um, price point is the same as a HoloLens, and just try it. There are new. There's going to be new apps. I tried to use the Disney Plus app, and other apps are pretty pretty cool. Uh, but it's more. Uh, there are more apps developing. Okay, thank you for watching.